this interview, take one. This year we celebrate the Mai's 10th anniversary. What thoughts and emotions come to mind when you think about the journey that brought you up to this point? It's been a hell of a ride. Um, those 10 years have really flown by. Like, I mean, you can see already I have some white hair. Yeah, <laughs> that was in there when we started off. Um, yeah, so I can say, um, you know, it's been a lot of experience um, gained through the process, but also a lot of um, satisfaction to see a lot of graduates doing very well out there. Um, and I'm glad we've been able to, you know, train over 3,000 people um, from across Africa. Yeah, and, and that's more than enough to be satisfied with, yeah. The inspiration for starting the school was really uh, out of need because we had a lot of interns from you know, other schools, but they were not able to do the basic assignments or basic um, roles on a set. And, and I felt, I think it was my duty as well to transfer that knowledge to the next generation. The first student was uh, James Warenge um, uh, Moneki. He was student number one, uh, and I think he traveled all the way from Kriyaga. At Shalom House, we had two classrooms and an office. And uh, that is where everything happened. At some point, we converted one of the classrooms into a studio. And so we had now uh, one classroom, one studio, and an office space. The memorable moments of the first year of operation, um, I think we still have that image of um, the first five students you know, visiting um, one of the facilities at um, Kenya Film Studios. And I think we took a picture outside the gate. Um, I think that one was important for me because now it's almost like introducing the graduates to the industry. During those times we used to enroll only 50 students every semester and actually right now we've been enrolling 250 students every semester. We've enrolled students from over 30 countries from Africa and beyond. We've had students from Colombia, um, USA, Germany, Ghana, and Nigeria. An ADMI student is this student who will be able to get into any office, give them the equipment, give them the hardware, give them the software, and they will be able to immediately be able to put it into use. If you don't know what to look for, you may not know because the, the young man might be just in their hoods and uh, carrying their bag because of maybe of the laptop or the guitar that they, were, they are carrying, yeah? But you can, if you look at their eyes, you can tell they have a purpose. We like to assume that uh, everybody is starting from scratch so that we, we build a foundation and build uh, all the way up uh, so that um, if they have learned something before coming here, well and good. If they don't know anything, they are still in the right place because uh, we start from the beginning. My process for teaching is definitely show people how to use the tools first, but also give them a challenge that they can aspire to. Like give them projects with a practical, try and make as much as possible the class environment and the projects be like what they'll experience out there. We are very passionate about our students being able to discover themselves and be able to express themselves through their art and then make a living while doing it. So we have a number of employer partners who we have MOUs with and are very close relationships with who have made a commitment to not only give us feedback on the curriculum and help us prepare the students but also to give them internships and to employ them on the end. And there are over 300 of those and they've been very, very supportive in different sectors. We would not be able to exist without them because they are the people who are the off-takers for the product, if you want to call it. Highly trained interns are critical to the success of our industry. So if I look at the state of the industry right now, um, we are innovating every day. Skills are developing and evolving. And having interns who are at the top of their game, who understand all the tools, the processes, and understand how to execute, is critical in ensuring that the record labels and creative arts companies like us have the right infrastructure and the machinery to continue um, evolving. So when I look at, for example, our ADMI interns, some of the interns that have come and are working with us are now African-wide personalities. They have been nominated for African awards. They have come up with all of these dope cover arts you see 
uh, for our music um, um, for our music and for our music cover arts. So to me, um, they're important and they really are the cornerstone of what we are doing. I feel like uh, the, the process of teaching is very good for students, especially if you're creative, because they really help you to build up your ideas. And if you really have a passion, I believe that they can help you build it. At ADM, I am proud to say that uh, the management team is mostly women. We have a large female contingent on the staff amongst the faculty as well. Um, and we've put in place policies that are really friendly to people of different genders. And we really want to make sure that people feel safe, that there's psychological safety and career growth within our, our entity. Um, so those all come together to creating a diverse workplace, making it safe for women and men and anybody else from a non-traditional background who's looking for a place where people are focused on the work that they do rather than who they are or what their past is or what their background is. So when I first started here, my role was working in content. I was writing blogs and that was not good. It was not my perfect skill at all. And then when I came back later, I joined the partnerships team first as a partnerships fellow. And then I really actually learned how to engage with partners, how to fundraise. So I grew to be a partnerships officer and now I am the partnerships manager. Though I had background in education, but no background in the creative industry. So I've taken it up as an opportunity for me to learn. As I interact with uh, the people that I found in the organization and my seniors, it has been more of a time for me to soak in as much knowledge as I can. The most notable difference is that um, I came in as a teacher with no sales skills at all. And right now I'm the corporate business partner at ADMI. We've had many challenges, um, you know, um, I mean, the latest one being uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So it was a really big challenge for us. We're a regulated entity that works under the Ministry of Education. And when the, lock, the first lockdown in Kenya was announced, um, we were given a week to close. Uh, but fortunately at ADMI over the last decade, we've developed very robust systems and processes. We have something called a business continuity plan. And what it calls for is for a crisis committee to immediately be, be formed that then works through a certain process that makes sure that the organization survives. One of the things that I'm proud of uh, as a principal of ADMI is that we were able to respond to the challenge very quickly. We had students who were taking with us game design and development and animation, the one that we have in partnership with Rubica. We were able to migrate from Friday when we crossed, on Monday they were in class. I may rightly say we were the first ones in our side and because we're also in touch with universities in the Europe and so forth, we may have been among the very first ones in the world to administer online exams during that time. So I've played a few roles uh, along the way. Now I'm mostly, you know, supporting the, the rest of the team because we have a solid team. We have, a, you know, a, a principal at hand. So really, our, our role is really to support the rest of the team to succeed. Looking back um, over the years, do you have a moment that you hold dear to your heart? A moment you cherish? Yeah. A moment you look back to? Yeah. I have a few. Um, one that was very satisfying to myself, and I know Wilfred, because he was very moved, I could see, <laughs> was the, our first graduation. So we'd had a few classes of alumni pass through for several years, but we'd never really had a graduation that we pulled together. So we brought back a lot of the older alumni, and uh, we did the whole hog. We, there were caps, there were gowns, but what I loved about it is that we gave it a very special ADMI twist, where the, the gowns were all uh, designed in such a way that they were using African fabric, very bright. It was a very colorful, colorful event. And now when you look at ADMI's graduation, it's actually very colorful, very artistic. It tells the story of who we are. And it has that special twist that suggests, yes, we are academic and we're about learning, but we're also creatives and we're very, very proud of that. That journey has, you know, that has taken us uh, 10 years is, is, is found, the foundation for what you know, bigger things can come. So we're looking forward to the next 50. 
20, 30, 50, 100 years, but we know, I think we have a solid foundation from where we started.